We are here at the lighthouse on the far, what, west of the map? I want to say it's far west. Is it far west? Hold on, let me check. Never eat. Yeah, okay, far west, right here near Porto Marinda. Uh, just because you can get a checkpoint by coming here. Not a checkpoint, a, um, I guess a fast travel point, of a fly point? I don't know what it's called. A, a flying spot, we'll call it. Uh, so let's just go up here real quick. Um, hello. Ooh, I think I'll definitely be using the flying taxi to get back to Kasakoff, Kaskarafa. Did you cross the Asado Desert to get here as well? You wouldn't happen to see some kind of weird Pokemon on the way, did you? Uh, hi, hi, um, little, uh, what are you called again? Cra uh, not Crab Brawler, um, oh my god, there's a lot of people up here, wow, okay. You, do you not see this? You don't, you don't see him? No? Hey, little Cantonian, uh, pa Jotoian Whooper. How's it going? Ooh, the market looks so tiny from up above. All right, cool. Thank you. Use the pits. I'm not crying. I spent so much money at the auction, but I'm not crying. The salty sea breeze is just stinging my eyes. Now, you don't run around up here. The island's bubbling up out of the ocean. Wow, so high. I mean, sure, I guess. Whatever you say, child. I've got a nice snap of this. It feels so nice up here. Hey, you can't take a photo of out with his permission. That's messed up. All right, let's jump down here then. We drop down onto the beach. Because we are going to go up north. Oh, the music just kicked in. I didn't realize there was no music playing that whole time. How weird. Oh, there's the pink shell loss. Okay, you can get pink shell loss here. There's Wingle. Oh, we need to go and get a, um, uh, what's it called? Um, Pelipper? Yeah, Pelipper. Up north at some point. There's a few Pokemon I need to catch up north still. Um, as for my team right now, I've taken off Quackaval once again, just because it earns XP so fast, especially because I can just give it a lucky egg, go up north and um, battle Chanseys. So... You are off my team. Everyone else is on my team because we are going on a catching mission. Um, I know that we've got the Gimme Gold chest up north that I'm heading towards here. But I know this place also can spawn um, Starlies and Staravias. So I'm kind of on the lookout for one of these because I've seen them pop up. I just never bothered to catch one, which is kind of surprising. I think it's like my, my knowledge or my experience of playing um, the Gen 4 games in like the last year where they're on every single route. You just get tired of seeing Starlies and Star Aviers. Um, is there anything special here at like the point? Maybe down on the beach, but whatever. There's a weird just bit of flat land. Oh, hello, Gumi. Oh, hello. Goodbye. I kind of realized that there's no point in me just trying to catch all the Pokemon before Area Zero, because there's a bunch of Pokemon that are still um, in Area Zero. Like, um, I'm sure that you'll probably be able to get a Gudra in Area Zero. I know you can get Frostmoth in Area Zero. Um, same with... Uh, there's another Moth Pokemon that I need to get, and I can't remember what it is. Oh, um... Oh, hello. Okay. Didn't actually know this was up here, but cool. At some point I'm gonna have to go through my footage and like find every single purple stake that I found and like then search up, not like search up where the last one is, but basically search up how many you're supposed to find because otherwise I'll go on like a wild goose chase looking for them all and it'll be like, ah, oh, sorry, you can only access it at the end of the game once you beat the Pokemon League. And I'll spend like an hour just like searching that first area, the southern area for the last stake that doesn't exist. Uh, let's take a look up here. I gotta say, the, the climb is really good in this. It's really, really good in this. Better than um, Legends Arceus. Because Legends Arceus was so slow. Like, it's weird that... In terms of movement, Legends Arceus had the better flying, but this game has the better climbing. Is that another stake? It... No, it's not. I was gonna say, it is another stake. No, it isn't. It's a uh, bullet seed. Completely useless. Um, 
Uh, it's not completely useless. I imagine you could probably get some use out of it. Hello, Gimme Ghoul. Gimme you. Kind of weird not seeing the pop-up of how many Gimme Ghoul coins you get. Like I said, they go to the... Um... We go yeah, we'll go check out this. Oh, never mind. Let's get this first. Oh, there's definitely going to be a, a, another um, yellow stake on, like, the main island. Which one's the main islands? I mean, it's that down there. I mean, I can fly to it, I suppose. Oh. Uh, there we go. Thank you. Yeah, I suppose I can fly to it. Let's go and check this out. See if we've got five-star raids yet. But obviously, um, we have to beat the final team star person. It's a two-star tendon mouse. Cool, don't care. Do that. Oh, a life orb. Wow, okay. Oh, Swellot. Hello, Swellot. I need you. I have a Swellot. When did I catch a Swellot? I don't remember ever catching a Swellot, so I've been like, oh, if I see a Swellot, I'll catch it. And I've passed, like, a bunch of them as I've been playing, and I've never bothered to actually check if I caught one. Instead, I was just like, oh, I can't catch it. That's a shame. I'll do it on video next time I see one. Um, okay, there's no attack to you. Oh, hello, Gyarados. Goodbye, Gyarados. Let's hope we don't run into any of the losers here. And these are... Ooh, or a Gyarados. Or a Gyarados. Uh, for looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's bound to be a stake up here. These are all just feathers. Who are dropping... Who's dropping these feathers? Because I haven't seen a flying Pokemon anywhere. Uh, check up here. More Swellots. Okay. Um... It around here, maybe? There it is. Yep, I knew there'd be a one around here. And I did hear the Gimme Ghoul. I don't care. There we go. We've got two. I think we've got three of these yellow ones now. I feel like I got a yellow one on camera before when we were coming down the mountain um, near the seventh gym. Like, uh,. So I've got one Oh, oh, there's a Mismagius here. Mismagius can spawn here. Hold on. That's right. I forgot they, they said it can spawn near lakes and rivers. Mismagius, where are you? Please spawn. I know you're a pretty rare spawn because I've never seen you in this game yet, but I would like to capture you. I say as I don't find a single one that spawns. Um, what about up here? Miss Magius, where are you? Am I saying the name right? Is it Miss Magius? Like, again, mage, like, wizard mage sort of thing? I imagine it's Magius. Or Magius. Uh, probably can get Gudra in Area Zero, otherwise I would just catch one now and let it level up and evolve on my team. We Give me that, thank you. Let's go check out what this guy is. It is a... Oh, that's a Dratini. Okay. It's an Azumarill. Azumarill. Okay, cool. Uh, give me that. Thank you. Again, just more feathers. Not really worth um, collecting. This is Tatsugiri Lake with its keeper um, Slowpoke. Let's go back up here. Again, the only places I haven't really explored on the map is this lake. And um, these little islands, well, when I say islands, I mean the outskirts um, where all the water is falling down into the ocean. All right, what are you? An ether. Okay, useless. I've got like 60 of these. More of the losers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, carry on going this way. Did I go onto this little small island? I don't remember. Um, oh, hello. Sorry, Dratini and Dragonairs. You enjoy your little um, snake day out. Okay, yeah, I definitely was on this island already. But I will take that and that. Thank you. Oh, yeah, this is where... Um, okay. Which means we've got to keep going this way. There's bound to be... Obviously, we found the yellow um, vault up there. Is that? Oh, it's a Dreadnought. Okay. 
That's more Dondozos. Um, there's bound to be another yellow stake somewhere up north here. In which case I would have found four. Oh yeah, I was going to show on the map. Um, I swear I found a yellow stake. Oh no, maybe not, because the yellow stake I found was like... Here? I doubt this area, like... This, down here and here counts as the same area. So maybe not. Maybe I have only found two now for this place. So give me that, thank you. Let's see what else we can find. Um, oh, I thought that was a gimme goal. I was just like running to it to pick up the gimme goal. Run away. My goal here is go to the gimme goal, get the chest, or get the gimme goal chest. Um, along the way, I'd like to find a few new Pokemon to add to the Pokedex. Obviously, we've got Dracloak there. I imagine... Um, oh, what's Dracloak's final evolution? It's Dreepy, Dracloak... Oh, Dragapult. Yeah, Dragapult, which was in Pokemon Unite. Um, what was that? Oh, hi. Are you the Titan? No, you're not, oh, not the Titan. The Terra? The game just despawned the Terra Pokemon again. Hello. Give me this. Thank you and thank you. I actually just realized that the Terra spawn once a day, like the Terra Raid. So if I have unlocked five star Terra... Oh, there's another yellow one up there. Yeah, if I have unlocked um, Terra Raid battles, I probably won't get them until tomorrow when they all respawn. I've heard the rumors. Have you now? Okay. Um, I don't think there's a gimme goal here, is there? Otherwise, I would have already gotten it. I mean, I've not already gotten it. I would have already been here, and I'm pretty sure I haven't been here before. But there's not even a gimme goal. Really? There's a new gimme goal around here. Weird. Well, whatever. I see a team up there. Let's get the steak. I'm like speedrunning these now, aren't I? Three in one episode? Hell yeah. When you pulled out the stake, it crumbled and vanished. I guess we can go and check the vaults. Now that I found three of them. Again, it only shows us like four kind of vaults into the wall. So that makes me think that, oh, so there's four, um... There's four, like, stakes you have to find. But no, there's way more than four, so... Uh, can I have that? Thank you. Thanks for the super potions you were sitting on. Keeping them warm for me. Uh, there's got to be a stake over here, too, so we'll go check this out. Oh, that's a fast travel spot. It's a site of Paldea. It's the Gracia Stones. Oh, I see a clauncher there. We need to catch you. After I get this. No, mind, it's Bishop. Don't care. Um, oh, there's Copper Jaws here, too. Uh, second attempt to get... Ooh, and a Cloyster! All oh, right, we're going to get Cloyster, Copper Jaw, and um, Clauncher. Um, Power Jam. Don't kill it this time, Persian, please. Did nothing. That did a lot, though. Fairly certain we can't paralyze it because it's Steel-type, and... Unless I'm wrong, Steel-type Pokemon can't be paralyzed. It's not through normal methods. I'm likely completely wrong about that, but... I'm sending you out just because that way I can put down a spiky shield. All of its moves are physical. So that should hurt it. Good, good, good. And um, I'm going to power gem. It won't do much damage. Oh, OK, that's a lot more damage than I thought it was going to do. It's going to get hurt by the Rocky Helmet. I knew you would die, but that's fine. Maybe I'm getting paralyzation with confusion um, with poison mixed up. 
can't poison a steel type Pokemon, but maybe you can paralyze a steel type Pokemon. Uh, Toad School, you can come out. Uh, Cloyster, you're next. Don't know what that whole Lucha's doing over there, but don't die here. Damn it. No, you stay, you stay in sight. You stay in sight, buddy. Your ability makes it so you always move last for status moves, which is annoying, but at least I'll never miss. So, I should probably... I mean, our plan was for you to become, like, a special attack... Oh, not special attacker, like a Pokemon that set up status moves. It's also because I didn't have any grass coverage. When it comes to my team, I usually have grass, fire, and water on my team. I mean, I could always just replace Toad School at some point. I don't really think uh, there's any point having you. Copperjaw is the Copperderm Pokemon. Copperjaw are prideful, cantankerous Pokemon. Specimens with vibrant green skin command the respect of others of their kinds. Cool. We need to go get Salazzle at some point. Um, sorry, uh, little baby um, Kufans. I just stole your uh, mother or father. Um, but yeah, I think if I'm going to replace a Pokemon on my team, it would be Toad School at this point. I mean, I like pretty much all the Pokemon I have. Um, obviously, Persian isn't a main Pokemon. It's just here to help me catch things. Um, Cloyster, there you are. Hey, buddy. I accidentally ran into you once while I was checking out an Outbreak, which is why I know you're a Pokemon in this game. But yeah, Copper Jewel I'd probably replace with my uh, shiny... Um, what are you called again? It's like Setian. The one that evolves into Setitan. Setodal. Setodal, I'd swap it out for a Setitan. My shiny one, because I think having ice coverage could be cool, but it's very, very, I don't know, specific, shall we say. Um, oh, hello, Veluza. What is that over there? Can't tell what those Pokemon are. Or at least that tiny little one there. Is it a... Is that the clauncher that I saw? Oh no, there's the clawn that's a new clauncher. What is it? No, camera, turn, turn, turn to the left. Well, whatever, thank you. Let's close the court. We'll go get clauncher too. Is that a shelter? Cloister is the bivalve Pokemon. When attacked, it launches its spikes in quick volleys. Its innards have never been seen. Uh, I can see it right there. It's like a ghastly. Oh, I'm on land. Okay. Um, once again, heal you one up. Thank you. What are you? Bishop? Oh. Oh, you're another... Um... Never mind. Yeah, hi, Veluza. Oh, okay. I really like the texture on that Veluza skin. It doesn't... It looks like a Steel-type Pokemon when you see it because it looks like just a flat, like, silver texture. But it's actually not. It's actually like proper like fish scales. All right, Clawtizer, I've been looking for you for a while. Thunderwave and then Slash and then... Um... Yeah, what is that? In the water there. It's definitely a... Okay, it's definitely a Clauncher. Considering like... Oh, you've got fire... Fighting type moves, that's right. I almost said fire type moves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's nice and all. Um, you actually might have like takedown or something, so I gotta be careful here. That's definitely not takedown, but hey, I just give you a max potion, whatever. What's up there? Um nothing. Can I glitch the camera? There we go, I can glitch the camera, perfect. So we got a Veluza. Um oh I can only do it in a certain direction though. Here we go. Um what are you? We gotta, we gotta do that again. Hold on. We gotta. Uh. There we go. Yeah, it's definitely a clauncher. I saw it there. It's a clauncher. All right. Good progress. Copper jaw, clauncher, and cloister. All C's. Uh, hopefully, I can find another Pokemon beginning with C here to continue. Oh, hi, Gyarados. Clawtizer is the howitzer Pokemon. 
Cannonballs of seawater that Klotzer launches from its claw are powerful enough to punch a hole through tanker holes. I need to get Bruxish, obviously. Oh, whoa, hello! Jump scare! That's a really nice Intimidate buddy. Guess what? I'm so intimidated, I'm going to run away. I just wanted to check out these rocks because I'm certain there's probably going to be a... Um, what's that? Pincushion? No, Cloyce. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Goodbye. Thank you. I'm almost certain there's going to be a... Um, a yellow stake out here. Probably over there. Or it'll just be a stupid gimme ghoul. There's no gimme ghoul chest because I've looked at a map of gimme ghoul chests. When I had already found... Oh, it's a TM. Okay. Helping hands. Definitely not worth it. And a gimme ghoul. Definitely not worth coming out here. I was hoping there would be a fourth um, stake. <gasps> Pelipper! Yes! We need you. Hello. I know you don't begin with C, but... I do need to catch you. I threw that Pokeball right inside its anus. Um, Whatever, just false swipe it. It's only level 40. Blink. Okay, you don't have an item. Damn. Uh, you can actually have takedown from what I remember. And well, what was my what was my Pelipper in um, Photonic Sun? Was it Darkness? The one that um, basically soloed the, uh, the Water Titan. I like that. I was just like, oh, it can have takedown, and then I immediately lower its health down to one. Anyway, I'm a genius, as you can tell. Um, yeah, Darkness was on the team, and uh, it just soloed that. I loved my Darkness. It was so good. I don't remember how it died. But there are definitely certain Pokemon from my Nuzlocke playthroughs that I now love. Like Alolan, um, like I can't I can't hate on Muk because Alolan Muk is so good. Same with um, the Ferroform we had. I like Ferroform now. I always like Cypher. Not Cypher, um, Caesar. No, not Caesar. Skarmory. There we go. I learned it. I remember the name in the end. <laughs> Pelipper is the water bird Pokemon. It protects its young in its beak. It bobs on the waves, resting on them, resting on them on days where the waters are calm. Oh, okay, as in it rests on the waves. I thought it was resting on the babies in its beak. I was like, how is that possible? That doesn't make sense. And um, what are you? Oh, hello. That's a... Uh, a Lekatros. We actually need one of you. And I have seen that apparently... I'm just going to go slash it and risk it. Ooh, that was a crit. Good job, good job, good job. Yeah, apparently you can't get the third form, or Electric, you can't get Electros in the wild, as far as I can see. So I might just catch a Tymo here, and then fall Tymo into Electric, and Electric, or Ele Ele Electric into Electros, and Tymo into Electric. Is the Ella fish Pokemon? Oh, like the Ella Tadbulb and Ella Frog? These Pokemon have a big appetite. When they spot their prey, they attack and paralyze it with, with electricity. Cool. Um, is that an Alamalamora? It is an Alamalamora. Okay. Hi there. Sorry, come up to the surface. There's a, just an ice cube down there too, just hanging out. What's he doing down there? Hey, we managed to catch it off guard, which is nice. As far as I know, you can't get um, Parafin's evolution without um, trading. Like, you can't get it in the wild. You might you might be able to get it in raids. That might be a way for me to get it without um, trading. Uh, from the way of it. But I basically want the uh, end of this series to be completing the living decks. Well, when I say the end of the series, I mean the end of the playthrough for now. I imagine... Oh, you've got Wish. That's right. I completely forgot that you're annoying to fight. Don't, don't crit. Thank you. I'm just going to throw a Pokeball. Um, 
Yeah, by the time this episode comes out, the prob DLC will probably either be announced or already on its way. So, but uh, the in the end of the initial playthrough will be um, completing the living decks as like the final episode, and then obviously DLC comes out. We go explore the DLC. We catch new Pokemon. Alamo Alo Mo Mola Alamomola is the caring Pokemon. They float up into the open sea. Many water Pokemon gather in the area around Alamomola. Cool. Um, there's the Timo I said I was going to catch. Let's get you real quick. Hi, little guy. Um, you know what? Just slash it. If it dies, it dies. Who cares? I didn't. That didn't actually mean kill it, though. I hate to say, but that was like a kind of a jokey way. When I say, oh, if it dies, it dies. It means you get it down to one HP, and I go. Oh, that was so close! Don't ever do that again. You know, it's like it's like the bit we do. You should remember. You should know that. You've done it so many times already, Persian. Oh, okay. Never mind. Ooh. That's a catch. Hey, there we go. It's weird how you can tell the critical captures. I'm not sure how, but you just kind of know. I don't know if it's like a sound effect that plays, but whatever. The Ella Fish Pokemon Tynamo. Yep, yeah, we've already caught one of you guys. We want two. Um, let's get you two off the team because you get XP pretty fast. I want to evolve you into an Electros, and I want to evolve you into an Ele Electric. So. That's fine. Um, while I'm here, actually, let's... Um, oh, there's my lucky egg. Perfect. Not use. I want to give to a Pokemon and give it to you. There we go. We're just going to try and evolve that into Pokemon we need. Um, I see Lumenion. Lumenion, hello. I need you, Lumenion. Thank you. What? No, I, I want you. There you go. Perfect. I caught it. I've got two. Hell yeah. On the wave. Wow, I'm actually getting a lot of Pokemon. I didn't expect to get this many new. How did you miss hitting a Thunder Wave and a Pokemon that isn't moving and stuns? I know you're on a tiny little, like, floatable in the ocean. You've got to try and, like, balance on the waves and stuff, but still. I'm pretty sure Safeguard stops it from getting crit now, but I'm still not going to risk it. Alright, and then... Yeah, 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 okay, cool. Now for a Pokeballs, good. Yeah, let's see, we got Copper Jaw, Cloyster, Launcher, Pelipper, uh, Electric, and now Lumenion. That's like six new Pokemon already. Crazy. Lumenion is the neon Pokemon. Lumenion swimming in the darkness of the deep sea look like shining stars in the night sky. I wonder if you can farm Pelipers for Lucky Eggs, rather than Chanseys and stuff, because... Oh, no, goodbye, Veluza. Thank you. I'm in Castle Royal Lake somehow. Not sure how, but... Ah! I just saw the Veluzas coming at me. You know what they need to add to this game? In the Pokedex, a way to view the models, like, up close in the Pokedex. So you can see all the, like, tiny detail and texture work they've done. I guess it's not texture work, it's more material work, right? Like, to change what material, um... No, come on. Uh, yeah, there we go, perfect. Yeah, to change what material is on the, um, the model. Like, I have very, very little experience in programs like Blender and stuff, but I'm pretty sure, like... That metallic effect on Forest Dress here isn't a texture, it's more the material. 
and they just add like a silver color to oh hello okay oh yeah we can get leafy on up here somewhere right weird to see a jolty on up here but i guess it technically be pretty camouflage wouldn't it in all the yellow um I wish I could like find a Caesar because I do need a Caesar at some point, but yeah, so the Gimme Gold chest should be up here. I really like this jump, it's so much faster than um Oh hello Sudawoodoo. Yeah, there's the chest, okay. Uh, let's just take a oh look up here. Nope. This is where you can't find certain Pokemon because they're spawning them on top of these rocks instead of uh, down on the grounds. All right. Um, are you healed up? Not really, but we'll do that. This will be level 50 because it's really far and late into the game. Yep, there we go. And then my tactic for level 50 Gimme Ghouls is Thunder Wave, send out uh, Glamora, and just have it weaken itself. Realistically, I should send out Glimora first, then weaken it. Because obviously now that it's paralyzed, there'll be turns where it doesn't attack, which is kind of annoying. The reason I'm so low on Pokeballs is because when I was catching Gimme Ghouls, I essentially just did this tactic where I just made it hurt itself over and over and over again. Paralyzed it, and then just kept throwing Pokeballs, so I never even tried to do damage to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, can't move because it's paralyzed. I did it in completely the wrong order. There, there's bound to be a yellow um, stake somewhere around here, I imagine. Up on, well, up on top of these rocks. Um, we found three. Two in the lake. What? No, three in the lake, right? I'm pretty sure it was three in the lake, or oh, it was like two in the lake and one at the waterfall at the end of the lake. Toxic debris, yeah, 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 pointless. Uh, by the way, I don't know what order I'm going to do like the final stuff, because obviously you've got the thing with Arvin in the lab. We're going to have um, Penny's story, Team Star story come to an end, and we've also got the Pokemon League. I'm going to have to look up what order to do them in. I imagine... It'll probably be... Pokemon League will probably be last to do. So I imagine it's probably Arvin, Penny, then the Pokemon League. Alright, we can get one more Rocky Helmet damage. What what, what do you want, Brumblegast? Hey, where, where are you going? There we go. Let's hope you're a good nature, because I really want to get uh, Golden Go. Live inside an old treasure chest, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. What nature's it going to be? Let's have a look. Am I going to be lucky? Oh, minus attack plus defense. Not good. Not good. Huh. <sighs> okay. Well, that sucks. Um. Whoa, hi, Jolteon. What are you doing up here? No wonder I can't find Leafeons. Jol they, they spawn Pokemon up here on the rocks instead. Uh, reversal, okay. I'm looking for Leafeon. I'm also looking for a stake, but I imagine it's probably up here. Uh, that's the... Yeah, that's the, the vault. There's bound to be one around here. Or... I don't know, what... Hmm. Would there be one like on the ice mountain here? I don't know if this is even like the same area. Class is the same area because I know there's like a north, south, east, west sort of thing going on for the different areas where the stakes are. Yeah, I'm not seeing a yellow stake around here. Um, Let's just fly and have a look on top of this hill. Yeah, I don't imagine there's one here, but we'll just check those little hill, little mounds there, and then we'll go over to the um, 
the vault. If not here, okay, it's spawning a bunch of... Uh, uh, hello? Hello? Excuse you, Spiritomb, what? Uh, hi, Spiritomb, how's it going? I didn't expect to battle you up here. Why, why is there a spirit, is this like a dead person up here? Uh, you're ghost type, so I can't actually um, weaken you. Aren't you ghost dark? That's a critical capture? No, it's not. <laughs> I tried to call it. I tried to. Oh, no. Why? 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 Spirit Tomb. I don't know how rare you are, and you just put a curse on yourself. This isn't good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, never mind. We got Spirit Tomb. Woo. That could have gone pretty badly. Spirit Tomb is the forbidden Pokemon. It was formed by uniting 108 spirits. It's been bound to the old keystone to keep it from doing any mischief. Okay, but how? If it says that it was gathered by 108 spirits. Surely that means the one in Hisui that you form is like the first ever one. Actually, no, it doesn't. It means it probably means the ancient Hisuian people found Spiritomb and it somehow escaped, and then you basically just reseal it. Oh, I need a Glalie. Hi, Glalie. I need you. Hi, buddy. Uh, Thunder Wave. Anything else up here? This is like this is actually a really good mountain to search on. I see a frost moth too! What? Why has this mountain got such good Pokemon? Are you kidding me? I only came up here to look for a yellow stake and said we'd get a Glalie, Frost Moth, and a Spiritomb. Wow, okay. Uh, can't power gem because you're super effective. Good job, Persian, dodging the attack, even though you don't actually animate to dodge. Like, would it be hard to like just shift the model to the sides? Like, bow animator dodge. Um, well, okay, I was just going to catch Frost Moth in Area Zero. We can actually get one up here. Give me an Ice Tank move. That's fine. Uh, let's just go for a full swipe then. Can these things have explosion or takedown? And why are you shivering? You're an Ice Type Pokemon. You know, something bad that I just had, like, in the back of my mind is this game is kind of, like, a mess and everything. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, oh, at least you can't see the edge of the world and the skybox meeting. Like, I'm, I'm like, oh, at least they did that right. Because <laughs> games like the uh, Jeep, uh, the Grand Theft Auto um, remaster, whatever, like, all the maps you could see where the skybox and the edge of the world meet, it was, like, terrible. Glade is the face Pokemon. It prevents prey from escaping by instantaneously freezing moisture in the air. Well, cool. And now we get to Frostmoth 2. This turned out to be a much, much, much better haul for new Pokemon than I expected it to be. Um, Thunder Wave. Yeah, bye, Glalie. Bye-bye. Thank you for taking the blizzard. I was holding my breath. Slash and don't... Actually, it doesn't matter if you kill it, but there's more behind you. Wide guard. Okay, that's useless. Ooh, critical hit. Okay. You really like to play it dangerously, Persian. Oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. How many moths are in this game? We've got Lovesta, Frost Moth, Venomoth. I'm sure there's a fourth or fifth moth in the game too. Frost Moth, Lovesta, Venomoth. 
I don't actually know. I just remember seeing a post, like an image on Reddit that said all the moth Pokemon can be found in Area Zero. And it said something like, this is because moths are attracted to light. I don't know what is in Area Zero, but apparently it's light and all the moths are there. So I was like, all right, well, I guess I'm just going to get Larvesta and Frostmoth in, in Area Zero. Whatever, that's fine by me. But I don't imagine you can actually find the wild Larvesta. Unless it's in the desert in like a terror raid battle somewhere. Or a terror battle. But cool, Frostmoth was caught too. Frostmoth is the Frostmoth Pokemon. It causes blizzard as it blizzards as it flies around with its huge chill emanating wings. Clean meltwater is its favorite thing to drink. Meltwater? I've never heard it called meltwater before. Huh. But I guess it makes sense. You know what, let's just kill one or two. We just want to get enough XP so that Electric. I keep saying, I keep wanting to say electric, but it's Electric. Electric evolves. So we can get um, Electros. There we go, super effective. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, it's like one XP off. So let's just kill a uh, little baby here. Just kill a baby. Just get a little bit of XP from killing a baby. It's fine. And uh, Power Gem. Sorry, you've got no Betic to protect you. I say as I look around for a Betic that might just murder me. No, we're fine. Cool. We're not going to get murdered. All right, you should have... I guess you... Oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. I was about to say, look, I guess you don't evolve, but... Wow, that's actually pretty well hidden. I don't know how you would find that if you weren't on top of there. You can't see it from over there. But this is four. So, again, I don't know how many there are. But I've either found four this episode, and in total, or four... Five in total and for this episode. I'm going to have to go back and check um, the episode where we've discovered this vault. I'm pretty sure it already had one thing removed from it. Oh, hello, what's this? Red candy. Damn. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Don't want to battle, thank you. Is there anything up here other than this? Habananberry, okay, whatever. Okay, so you've got one missing as well. I don't know if I found them all, and again, it's just like post-game. You can't get these guys until post-game. Or what? Uh, we're just going to get e Electric to evolve. So I'm really low on these candies. Let's give you like three. 47. No? Okay, let's give you rare candies then. 48, 49. You want to learn Acid Spray? No thanks. Oh wait, you evolve from a Thunderstone, don't you? Whoops. Well, that was a waste. Yeah. Whoops, that was a big, big waste. I'm stupid. Eh, whatever, I'll just do more four-star raids at some point. I haven't done raids in a few days, which is probably why my candies are so low. But there's Electros. The Ele fish Pokemon. It latches onto its prey with its sucker mouth, sinking in its fangs and shocking the prey with powerful electricity. Cool. Lots and lots of progress done. Which is really, really nice to see. Um. So, yeah. That, that's really good progress. Let's see. So we throw you in here too. And then let's just substitute you for Electric. So yeah, we got, what, 11 new Pokemon? Yeah, 11 new Pokemon to add to the Pokedex. Um, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to level these guys up off camera. Um, we need to be at least 56 for Team Star, apparently. So they're, they're getting there. Um, but we still got a ways before we even go and battle Team Star, honestly. Because we still have... Ooh, there's a Leafeon nearby, apparently. We'll check that out in a second, but... We still have, like, all this place to explore before we even battle Team Star. So, yeah, that should actually be really, really cool. I'm look I'm really looking forward to exploring that area. 
because it's got like these weird obsidian things sticking out the grounds. It's like all mysterious and hidden. I haven't seen a single thing that's behind there because of the tall cliffs and stuff. So I've got honestly no clue what the hell's going to be down there. Better be like something cool and mysterious, but I it kind of sounds like it's just going to be a bamboo forest based on the um, the description of um, whose Pokedex entry was it? I don't remember whose Pokedex entry it was that said that it lives in bamboo forests. Oh, it was Cricketoons, that's right. I'm also totally checking up here in case a Leafeon spawned up here on the on the rocks instead of down there. One last look for a Leafeon. Leafeon, nope, Toad's cool. Toad's cruel. Nope, nope. No, no sign of Leafeon anywhere. Leafeon continues to evade me. Nope. Check up here. Two Pokeballs, but Red Bone. Okay, whatever. <sighs> no Leafeon for me, but hey, we made it all the way from that lighthouse all the way up to here. And got a whole bunch of new Pokemon along the way.